I wanted to do a product review on a company here in Colombia, South America called Deportes Tropical. In English, that would be Tropical Sports. Uh, this company is putting out some great, great stuff. Uh, the gloves are very comparable to Cleto Reyes. Uh, it's just nice equipment and it's much, much cheaper. So I'll probably try to figure out how to get a link in the description box below. And uh, uh, so if you're interested, you can go look at some of the things that they have. You will have to email back and forth and you'll probably have to use Google Translator to do that if you don't don't know Spanish. Uh, however, we haven't had any orders really get messed up with the exception of uh, one pair of boots that came with a red stripe on the side and we want it all black but turned out Joe really liked them so I was like hey we're keeping them but I'm going to show you a few things that Joe uses from this company and maybe a couple of other things that he just uses so and then give you some reasons why he's using what but one of the things I wanted to start out with is his groin protector that he uses and this thing's very nice. It's thick enough to give you the protection that you need. These do come with lace-up uh, strapping in the back. But what I did was I went down and paid, I don't know, the equivalent of maybe four U.S. dollars. And they, vet, they uh, cut the lace holes off and added the velcro to it so Joe could just adjust it but it's very good it's a nice piece of equipment it's leather it's all covered in leather very nice um, very nice I do want to get Joe one he wants one that is lower around here because his style of boxing, he's dipping down a lot. And uh, this thing's a little high, but it provides all the protection in the world. Uh, it's very good and it's very comfortable. And you can see the cupping in here. It's just very nice, very inexpensive. I believe this in US dollars, I believe cost 30 bucks, 25 bucks. Uh, inflation's kind of running rampant now, so these prices will vary. But we've got this stuff very cheap. I ordered this. We, uh, we used to call these governors years ago. I'm speaking 40 plus years ago. Uh, I'm going to stick this up here in the hopes that Maybe you can get the web address off of it or what have you. Not sure how good this is showing up, but there you go. Uh, and th this pad is very nice. Again, it's leather. This was probably $20, I believe in US dollars that I got this for. Of course if you have it shipped to the US or the UK it's gonna you're gonna have some shipping costs but for the quality of this stuff is just very good. Uh, got a body protector here. This was probably 50 50 US dollars I believe. 45 to 55 US dollars. And I can't take it even with this on. Uh, 
I may have a video or two up where I've got pillows up under this, but for the average normal guy, this or trainer, uh, or training partner, this will work great. I've got some midsection trouble where I've had a had a major surgery and I have to be a little more careful. But this this thing's very nice. And when this stuff comes to you, it's got that Cleto Reyes smell to it. Strong leather, uh, painted and embossed smell to it. And this is just wonderful equipment. It's just really nice. Really nice. <coughs> and Joe decided he wanted to try their gloves out. And, uh, he got this pair for good grades. These things are kind of dusty. He hasn't used these red ones in a while. But these are the gloves. They're very nice. They're leather. They're lace-up. Uh, they're comfortable. They got sufficient good padding. The liner's decent. Uh-uh. He beats the crap out of these bags. There's been no discoloration or marking on these things. They're just wonderful, wonderful gloves. Uh, the thumb attachment's not the thickest in the world, but it's very strong. Nothing's giving any give or take. And these things look pretty much like they did the day we got them. And Joe's used them quite frequently. Quite frequently put some wear and tear and the tear he, the wear and tear he puts on stuff's a little more than normal. He's hits hard. Uh, he's a hard hitter. He practices trying to hit harder every day. He's a, he's a slugger. And this pair he got for Christmas and this is his favorite pair. This is the pair he likes the best. Uh, very nice glove. Stitching's well. Uh, just a wonderful, wonderful um, glove. Now, these are fight gloves. These gloves I'm showing you are 12-ounce fight gloves. Uh, we've had no problems with the stitching or anything giving as of yet. Uh you can see here's my, and this is going to happen with all these handmade gloves. And by the way, all this stuff's handmade. You may have some little seam things here, here or there. Uh, because, of course, when you make something by hand, it's never going to be perfect like it's come out of an engineered machine. But uh, there's no give here, no take, no separation, nothing. These things are... Great, great gloves. No marks on them. Just beat the crap out of white bags, a red bag, a blue bag uh, with this black. Nothing on it. Nothing coming off or given. And the gloves, because he's been asked what gloves he uses on the reflex bag, he uses a cheap pair of very light 10-ounce gloves. And these things are marked up. They're, uh, uh, he's been using them for a little while. He just uses them. He doesn't hit, a, hit any of the bags other than the reflex bag. And this is just a little cheap company. Uh, you see it's got marks come off. And that's what's going to happen with a cheap glove. They're going to mark up and whatnot. Uh, but... This is just a very light, they actually weigh about, uh, because they're so cheap, the weight's not perfect on them. They, I think one pair weighed nine and a quarter ounces and the other pair weighed nine and a half ounces. So uh, they're probably even going to pick him up a pair of eight ounces uh, to hit the reflex bag with. But you can see the difference in the cheap gloves. 
you get mark, marks on them and they scuff and all that. But he loves these gloves. He loves these things. These things are very comfortable for him. And these other gloves don't have to have, uh, you know, when you're getting a pair of glove, leather gloves, uh, handmade gloves, you're going to have to have a breaking in period for it. Probably hurt your hands a little bit. I started wrapping Joe's thumbs a little bit better. I don't have to do that now. He's got these broken pretty much like he likes them. Uh, but this company, Tropical Deportes, in English, it would be Tropical Sports here in Colombia. They're just putting out fabulous products. I'm going to get it up here again so you can see the stitching on it. Oh, I don't know if, how well you can see, but the stitching's real good on it. All these are handmade, 100% high-quality leather. Uh, you can get them in the colors that you want. You can get special gloves. You can get your name on them. Whatever you want, they'll, they'll do it for you. I'm try to put this mark up here again so you can see it. And uh, just a wonderful company that we've had, uh, that we came upon because it's harder for us to get things shipped here uh, because Columbia puts an extra tax on products. So if you buy something from Everlast, for example, uh, you, you pay the shipping cost and the price of the product, but there's an extra, <coughs> excuse me, tax put on it. And sometimes those taxes are 20 to 60 percent. So it's harder for us to get things here than it is to export out, which I don't think is exactly fair and under Trump. That all went away. We could get online and order at least from the U.S. because uh, Trump was... If, you sell us a product coming in, the same tax is going to, or if you tax our products going into your company or your country, we're going to put the same tax percentage on everything you're trying to sell to us. And funny how that mess just went away. There was no taxes. So in other words, I could order something from Everlast or uh, one of these other companies and uh, uh, get the product in and there was no um, tax on it coming in. Zero. So that, that was great. But of course with Biden back in and all that everybody went back to ripping the U.S. off and ripping the United Kingdom and Europe and uh, the rip-offs commenced as soon as Biden took office. So I'm not getting political here. That's just a fact. Uh, <clears throat> if you love taxes, it works out well for you. If you, <clears throat> if you don't, if you don't like, like it and you like everything to be fair and even across the board, then you wouldn't like that. So anyway, we just wanted to show a few of the things quickly that we've got. Uh, I encourage anybody that wants to get anything from that company. And you can get in touch with me here on YouTube. Shoot me a message. Uh, if you put your email up, as soon as I see it, I'll delete your comment that has your email on it so your email's not sitting out there all day. And uh, uh, I'll hook up with you that way and I can probably try to help you order from this company. We're not making no money off of this company. They have used Joe in a couple of uh, advertisements, but uh, and I've allowed that, but we're not in with this company or and we don't have anything like that going on. Not making money off of anybody. So 
I just like these products so much, and most importantly, Joe likes the products a lot. Uh, don't have his boxing boots in here right now, but they got a very basic boxing shoe. Uh, it's not the best looking shoe in the world, but it is a very comfortable boxing shoe. And all boxers know that's the key. What's what's going to go on my feet that's going to be comfortable? Because it's most of these boxing shoes, very high dollar boxing shoes, mind you, are not comfortable at all. And these things are very comfortable and lightweight and whole nine. Uh, leather and canvas, a portion of it's canvas, a portion of it's leather. Uh, so, but I'll try to get a link down here. If it's not on here when you watch this video and you couldn't pick it up when I'm sticking the product tagging up to the camera, uh, just be patient because I will give a link down there at some point. And thank you for this watching this video. Have a wonderful day. Blessings. And uh, if you ever buy anything from there, I was glad to turn you on to it and uh, hope it helps you out. Uh, that's what we're all about. We're gonna, uh, if we run up on something good, we will let somebody know and hopefully they'll do the same with us. And that goes for uh, advice. Uh, critiquing. The only thing we ask if you're uh, critiquing us is just be just be professional about it. And be nice, but we need to know things. Uh, and if we're doing something wrong that we're not picking up on, we need to know. We encourage you to let us know. Uh, some things we do differently, and uh, some things the things that we do are very old school. And there are many current professional boxers that wouldn't even have a clue as to what we're doing. And they'd be like, no, 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 no. And current trainers. Uh, but the old guys, they know what they, they know. Uh, but we take any advice we can get. That's what it's all about. Uh, we just, uh, at the finish here, I'll tell you what the world, I'll repeat it again. What this world needs is more love. That's what we're abundantly lacking in, is love. So, uh, just be kind to one another, and thanks for watching this video. We appreciate it.